Hey, in this video, let's explore the uh, option of taking an animated character out of uh, Maya and exporting it out to GLB format using uh, Blender, kind of a, as a, you know, almost like a plugin, right? So what would be the process for doing that? And just so you know, GLB is a popular uh, WebGL format which um, a lot of times if you're building something for an online browser-based uh, products or applications, uh, a lot of times you, you, you will be asked to provide a GLB uh, format. And sometimes they're animated characters or assets, whatever that uh, might be. Uh, let's explore the workflow, the pipeline of, uh, of making that happen, right? So here, again, I have a character that, um, there's a tutorial on how we made this. Um, in uh, on YouTube you can find that and once let's say uh, for whatever reason I want to export this particular character right so how do I do this I want to grab his animations and all of his textures and uh, you know the whole uh, package so what would I need to do to export this out well the first thing I need to do is make sure that I can select the skeleton right so I'm gonna turn on my skeleton in my human IK so I could see it and uh, the current animation is just a loop of 50 frames. So uh, to export this out, all I need to do is just select the mesh and then I'm gonna hold down the shift key and select the actual skeleton. And that's all I need. And of course, if you do uh, want to save your controller uh, controller's animations and you don't want to bake it to the skeleton, then you can bake it uh, during the export. So let's take a look. So I'm going to say export selection. I'm just going to create a new folder on my desktop and export this out as let's do a uh, robot. Um, and I'm going to use a FBX to import this to um, Blender, right? And the one thing that I need to make sure is right here. So I need to make sure that the animation is checked. I also need to make sure that the bake animation is checked as well, right? So the bake animation, what does that mean? The bake animation means it's going to um, take any animation and bake it into the actual joints of your avatar, the actual skeleton, right? So if you are using uh, controllers, for example, uh, on during the export, if this is checked, um, all the animation is gonna be baked into the joints and you need that in order for this to work uh, in the GLB, right? Because we can't export controllers um, to other game engines, right? So you want to make sure that's there. And then minus one, if you look at my uh, timeline, you can see that my animation is spanning from zero to 50. So I don't really need the minus one, which is my typos. So I'm going to switch this to uh, zero. So I want to go from zero to 50. And the only other thing that I want to make sure, uh, because I'm exporting this to GLB, I want to make sure that my embed media is turned on. And this way, any textures that are included uh, with your characters are going to be included inside the FBX kind of uh, file, right? So let's go ahead and export that out. All right, really nice. So next, uh, let's jump into Blender. Here I'm in Blender, I'm going to go ahead and do a file import and I'm going to import my FBX file. All right, so here's my uh, robot.fbx. I'm not going to change any of these uh, settings here. I'm just going to do import. As soon as I do import, you can see the character comes in into Blender and I can also see that the all the animations and the keyframes are here as well. So if I press uh, play, I can see that the character is animated. If I wanted to, I can uh, also switch this to uh, 51, right? So I don't need all 250. And of course I can uh, play it and make sure that it's looping correctly and everything is looking nice. I can also in Blender, of course, turn on my uh, viewport shading so I can see what that looks like. All right, so this is interesting. I'm gonna actually leave this uh, issue in the video in case you are, are experiencing a similar issue. So in, in my case, when I turn on my viewport uh, shading, I can't see the texture. And the reason for that is because in Maya, I was using Arnold uh, textures, right? So I need to fix that. Um, Blender does not import Arnold uh, textures uh, correctly. So let's go ahead and fix it. I'm gonna jump back into Maya. 
All right, so what I need to do is I need to change the uh, the Arnold material over to something more uh, basic. So um, if I go into my attribute editor, you can see that it's currently using AI standard surface, right? Um, what I need to do is I need to go to my file. I'm going to copy my file, my path to my uh, texture. And I need to change this. Let me change this from uh, standard from uh, uh, AI uh, standard to something like let's do something basic uh, like phone for example okay so when we do the phone material that's going to be uh, read by uh, blender so I'm gonna pump up my color and maybe my uh, ambient color here I'm gonna go to my uh, file path and paste that in press enter and right now uh, it's not gonna look good in Maya because it's using a foam material and I have everything set up for Arnold, right? For uh, Ar Arnold render. But uh, don't worry, it's gonna actually look uh, really nice in Blender. So again, foam material is active. I just have the normal map and the color map, just the two, I don't have anything else. So I'm just gonna go ahead and export this uh, uh, one more time. And let's jump back into Blender and see how it's looking there. All right, so let's try this one more time. Uh, now, again, it's gonna be set to foam and I'm gonna turn on my uh, viewport shading again. And now you can see that the texture actually does show up. So the next step is going to be adjusting the uh, metallic value. So I'm gonna select my uh, mesh and blender. I'm gonna go to shading uh, to zoom in on our model. And uh, one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pump up the metallic value and I'm gonna turn down the roughness. So I, I kind of wanna achieve kind of a more of a metallic uh, look for my uh, robot here. And uh, again, you can see that the uh, texture, the color texture is plugged in. So that's, uh, is active. And the only other thing that I have active is the uh, normal map, right? So just for a couple of these details on the robot. So th those are the only two maps that I have um, plugged in, right? So I'm gonna go back into layout mode. Let's press play. And here he is, he's happily uh, walking. Okay, very nice. So now how do we export this to uh, GLB? Well, uh, pretty easy. All we do is just go to file, export, and let's do a GLTF 2.0. And you can see that's a GLB uh, uh, format. And let's go ahead and name this. Uh, in my case, it's gonna be called a robot. And for the animations, if this is a, um, you know, if this needs to be uh, optimized, you can, of course, compress your um, textures. You can, um, one of the things you can do is uh, maybe turn off the vertex color if you're not using vertex color, color so it doesn't uh, mess up anything during the export of your model. Uh, I'm gonna say include all visible objects. And that's pretty much it. Uh, as far as the animation is concerned, I'm gonna leave uh, everything as is and just simply export to uh, GLB. All right, so once it's done, let's go ahead and test it and see uh, if it indeed uh, works in the web. All right, so to test it, I'm gonna go to a website called sandbox.babylonjs.com and this is, uh, I think of this as like a online free uh, GLB uh, viewer that you could use to test your uh, models, right? So I'm gonna grab my GLB file and just drag it onto the browser. All right, and here it is. So I think it's looking uh, good and it seems to be uh, all animated properly. So you can see that the process is relatively simple um, as long as you include a bridge app uh, like Blender. So you don't have uh, any worries when somebody asks you for GLB files if you are uh, primarily a Maya developer. All right, so thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.